Hey Jack, Dave here, Edge Rowing Team member. Uh, I'm doing a little testimonial for you. I would like to say uh, almost complete rookie. When I started with the team, I, I bought a, a Concept2 machine in February 2022, just looking to boost my fitness, uh, add it to my gym routine. I started rowing on the machine and within a few weeks, hit the elusive seven minute 2K and I thought, oh, maybe we're on to something and I should push myself push myself to get better. Um, I did a lot of the stuff on my own for the first few months. And, uh, and when I saw that the world rowing indoor champs were coming to Canada, basically an hour from my house, I knew uh, it was a sign it was time to step up my game. So that's pretty much where I was at when I joined the team. And uh, it kind of took off pretty quick from there. Big, biggest thing I would say I was uncertain about in, in joining the, the edge rowing team was whether I was experienced enough um, or, or I was just gonna embarrass myself. And uh, I thought when I was kind of going through the process that I was hiring a coach and uh, I found out pretty quick I was joining a team which had way more value than, uh, than I thought. Uh, you know, I picture kind of rowing on that indoor machine, just kind of you're, you're by yourself but uh, being on the team, you, you, you see pretty quickly, there's a lot of, a lot of different people, but kind of all uh, fighting toward a goal of their own and we're all crazy a little bit. Um, but it's, it's when the times get kind of tough and you don't want to do a workout, it's kind of easy to get motivated by the rest of the, the team and pretty diverse group. We had uh, some pretty, um, some pretty high skilled rowers on the squad and, and, and beginners like me. So I thought it was, uh, a really welcoming crew, um, which made it easy for me to kind of jump in with both feet. I would say the thing I was most most impressed with was just how customized the, the program was for me at my level and uh, based on how much I was willing to push myself. And uh, knowing there was gonna be kind of some, some roadblocks along the way, I'm, I'm, I'm busy with work, with family uh, and other hobbies and uh, yet had this goal, so Jack was pretty quick to say, I'll, I'll push you and, and you tell me when is too much. And he was pretty good at reading some weeks when I just was just too tired and uh, would scale back some of the programming, but super supportive as was the whole team. Uh, and I think seeing how everybody else was progressing was the part I was most impressed with. And you just kind of want to be part of, part of all the success that the team's having. I would say the thing I, I learned the most. So when I was doing training on my own, um, pretty much anything over 2K uh, or maybe 5K, I would essentially try to hold a two minute or less uh, split. And uh, even if it was a 10K, if it was a 12K, if it was a 15K, I was always trying to hold a two minute split. And uh, when you're doing that, or when I was doing that, you know, four or five times a week, I was getting a lot of mileage. For me, I was happy with, but I was pretty, pretty wiped. It made it hard to go to the gym, do the other training. Uh, I like to play golf, so it made it hard to do those things. Um, and pretty much the first thing I learned uh, was about the heart rate uh, training, the, the UT2, the polarized approach. I, the first couple of weeks, I thought it was shockingly slow. Um, and then when we get into our high intensity, I was, I was performing way better than I had expected. And um, just kind of the variety of the training, like the machine itself is can get boring, but if you're varying up your training, you, you can see yourself kind of hitting benchmarks, which is a ton of fun. And that's kind of the piece that I found motivated me a lot. And, and uh, knowing I had this event coming up, the whole team was kind of behind us. And I had another, another guy on the team coming to participate too. So, or two of us actually. So there's three in total from the edge team. Um, and I would say, like, if you're on the fence, um, you know, it's a really welcoming group. And I find it hard to believe you wouldn't get better. And also that it would fit in with whatever your life kind of uh, lifestyle is. And uh, I don't know much about the outdoor rowing community. But uh, for me on the indoor erg, this was a huge, uh, a huge swing for me that helped me get a lot better. I went from basically just under a seven minute 2K um, in, the, in the summer to pulling just, just uh, 631, just over 631 at the Worlds in Feb. So for me, I was pretty pumped. 
Um, like I said, the whole team's been awesome, and uh, I think you should give it a go. Thanks. A few other things I missed in my first uh, shot at this video. Other things that are really important with the team and with Jack's philosophy, which you can see sort of through the people who have been on the team, is the is the mindset component. Um, heading into this event, I was basically a nervous wreck. Uh, really wanted to do well. Um, and Jack was just so supportive um, and really kind of coach, just kind of buying into a process and the results will be what they are. Um, for me, that's really hard. I like to focus on the results, but um, I did think, you know, that that approach did kind of help settle me down a little bit. Um, and at the end of the day, like it's, uh, I've learned, at least from my experience at rowing or indoor rowing, uh, it's really, really difficult, way harder than I ever expected it would be. Um, and half the battle or, or more sometimes is just your mindset and having a good attitude and being ready and controlling the things that you can control is one of the big things that, that Jack talks a lot about. And um, I think that would carry forward to a lot of things, not just rowing. So one more thing I wanted to, uh, to add in. And then uh, last but not least, uh, just be ready when it's race time. That's always important too.